Okay, so I assume you've uh, now watched the basic um, introduction to functions video that I've put on the, um, the content folder. Um, now we're going to do something a little bit more complicated, which is multi-input multi and multi-output uh, functions. Um, and we're going to use an example that's, uh, in, that's relevant to what we're doing at the moment, relating to atmospheric properties. So I'm going to do this uh, relatively quickly, if I can. Um, so I'm going to create a new script. Now, functions are effectively just replicating the formulas that we are interested in and that we can use. So they allow us to, to sort of um, calculate the, the, uh, the output, the y, if you like, from the y equals f of x. Um, we input the x and we get out the y. Um, the formulas that I'm interested in for this example, well, what I've done is I've taken some simple formulas. That's the formula for density according to ideal gas law and the formula for the speed of sound. Um, I've taken those from the lecture notes. I've saved the, um, the, Im saved the for formulas as an image and I've dropped that image into the same working directory. What MATLAB can do is it can actually view that, that image and it quite, it's quite a, a neat little sort of reminder of, of um, a way to show um, what the formulas are that you want to use. So we're going to actually get these formulas into a function now and have a function that can tell me the local air density and local speed of sound for a given pressure and given temperature input. Okay, got a couple of constants in there as well that we're going to have to use. So we start by opening a script. Type the words the word function and tell MATLAB that we're going to be writing a function now. And this time we display the output. We uh, write in um, the two variables that we would like to output. Okay, so we want to output density. In fact, I'm going to call it dense and I'm going to call it speed sound like this. Give our function a name. So get atmos props, something like that. Again, as I mentioned earlier, um, there are some best practices around how you name your variables and you ha how you name your functions. If you go to the content folder, you'll see a MATLAB um, best practice guide. Have a read of that. If you start now with a convention for naming variables um, and um, functions, then it will help you in future. Um, for debugging and things like that. Um, so we write the name of our function, we open the parentheses, and we type in the uh, names of the inputs that we will need. So that's on the right hand side of the equation, the x if you like in your f of x. In, case, in this case we've got two inputs, pressure which I'm going to abbreviate to press and temperature which I'm going to abbreviate to temp. Okay, go to the next line um, and I'm going to write density equals pressure, pressure divided by R times temperature. Okay, get into the habit of labeling your equations. So density or local uh, density Express the units as well, kilograms per cubic meter. This is again just helps with debugging. And uh, when you've got these big long functions, you know it's a, it's useful to be reminded of what uh, each variable actually means. Now you'll notice in here we have a variable r that we've not defined yet. If we try to use this function, it won't work because r hasn't been defined anywhere. So I'm going to type in r here. R is 287. Uh, specific gas constant, so 287. Again, let's label that specific gas constant units uh, joules per Kelvin per kilogram. Okay. We also want another output, which is the speed of sound. If you noticed, I haven't defined anywhere speed of sound yet in the function. That's why it's under, that's why it's underlined here. So speed sound equals square root. I'm using the MATLAB square root function. Square root of gamma 
multiplied by specific gas constant multiplied by temp. Now once again you'll notice that I haven't yet defined gamma so if I try to use this function well in fact let's just try and see what happens. If I finish the function off, save it. When we save it, it takes the name that we've written here automatically, it recognizes that this file is a function file because I've written function here, so it calls a function by the same name. Now MATLAB has to have the same name in the file name as is in the um, the function name as uh, itself. Um, that's a condition as well. So save that. So it appears here. We know it's a function because we've got this F on the icon. So let's try and use that now. So the function is called get at MOS props. It requires two inputs, a pressure and a temperature. So let's put the pressure at sea level 301325. Let's have the temperature at sea level, so 288.15. Okay. Now, if I press enter now, look, we get an error. Error using gamma, not enough input argument. Okay, so all that's telling me is it. I've tried to use this function, but unless I actually input gamma in here as well, which I haven't said I could do because I've not asked for three inputs, it's not the function's not going to work. So the function tries to run, but can't run because it can't see gamma anywhere. Okay, so it tells you where that MATLAB's great in its uh, debugging. It tells you exactly where the error occurs. So if I click click on this bit here it'll show me where in the function is the error line number nine is in here so we know the reason for the error not enough input arguments and we know where the error is line nine okay referring to this line so matlab's great because it shows you where the error is okay so I go back to my function and i correct for that error so gamma equals 1.4 it's the ratio of specific Heat dimensionless. Okay. Speed of sound. Well, we haven't labeled speed of sound, so let's put local speed of sound meters per second. Okay, so now our function should be complete and it should work. So we don't need to press run because we've not got a run file. Okay. This is a function, it behaves differently to a run file. So our function has been updated, so let's try again. And we get a density, well we get an answer of 1.2252. So why don't we get density and speed of sound? Why do we why do we only get one answer there? Well that's because we've not told MATLAB to output more than one output. We've only run the function and what MATLAB does automatically is it only outputs the very first variable in your outputs okay and that's because you've not pre-assigned uh, a variable to those outputs so if we want MATLAB to output both outputs in this function we need to tell it to and we do that by effectively including this square bracket in our request at this point okay so if I just repeat that by the way if you press up on your arrow keys on your keypad you can get a, a list of all of the the inputs into your command window that you've just used. So let's go back and put the cursor here. And that's actually right in density and speed of sound. Okay. Equals get atmospheric properties. Now if we run it this time, then we get both outputs. Okay, so density and speed of sound, and they look correct to what we what we want. Now, I didn't actually have to write density and speed of sound there. I could have written A and B. Okay, but A and B don't mean anything to me, so I want to actually use the function and, and remind myself of why I'm using it. So I tend to use the same names as what I've written in the function, the original function. But as far as MATLAB's concerned, all it needs to know is that there are two outputs, okay? Um, and if you give two, uh, any two variable names, it will give you two outputs, okay? And that's, that's, that's fine. Um, 
Okay, so that's how you do a, a multi-variable input, multi-variable output function. Now, for, for good practice, it's worth writing a bit of preamble. So I tend to write here um, what my function is going to do. So inputs um, local air pressure state the units local air temperature state the units then I'll do a second line O capital O for outputs what's it's gonna what's it gonna output density in kilograms per meter cubed and um, speed of sound in meters per second okay um, and if you want you can add another line here process or function but I mean you can kind of just repeat what's what's been written here so calculates local uh, density and speed of sound given um, inputs of pressure and temper temperature based on ideal gas law. Okay, and that just tells your user um, what the function is doing very simply. Okay, so obviously if you've got a very large function, you probably won't be able to write that much, but it's very good practice to to describe exactly what this function is doing in the in the header of the function. And because these are commented, okay, MATLAB won't read, will ignore those comments when it's processing the function, when it's using the function, okay? Um, you'll see the first line of that in this, um, in this window here, which is quite useful. Um, so I save that. So just to demonstrate that it still works. There we go, it still works.